Right guys, welcome back. As you can see, this is a lot different from when we last left off. Now, as I promised, there is a mob farm which has been going crazy and it's doing a load of random stuff. Now, we, we're just, we're so full already, I'm going to have to quickly, I'm going to have to just get rid of a load of these arrows again. We've got just a phenomenal amount of stuff already. I'm keeping this, well, okay, and this, I'll take this out, I'll quickly show you a few things I'm just going to get rid of some of the stuff. Um, we can do them as well, maybe. Maybe not just yet, but I'll show you these soon. We've got a heart there, we've got some mushrooms. We're getting all sorts of good stuff here. Right, I've obviously... My cobblestone generator is still here. Right, what I've done with this is... We've got a transfer node from extra utilities. And we've got it... It's got a world interaction upgrade. Which means it is just constantly getting cobblestone. I am full of cobblestone here. There's some in there. And our barrel over here is full. Well, I've straightened all this bit out. We've still got Skipper. Skipper's still here. He's still good. I did make a little mob farm. Um, little farm here for uh, the like cows and stuff. Nothing spawned yet. I've also got some certain quartz seeds in there. Happily doing their thing. And, right, okay. There's plenty of metals to show you as well. I've obviously made like the ladder to go up, so if I ever want to turn this off, because I do want to be able to be able to turn this on and off, so I've made a ladder so I can get back up there if I need to. Um, hopefully this isn't too loud, but we can sort that out. Right, metal, the metal. Let's let's. I just want to. Oh yeah, let's dump some of this stuff. So I'll put that in there. We'll have. Do I actually? I think I've still got some. Yeah, I've still got some on me. So it's going automatically into the barrel. It's coming out into this chest, so we've got quite a bit of dirt as well. We also... What else is there? Right, so there's the gunpowder that I want to sort out, because I've just been getting so much of it. Just in case I need to keep it, I've been storing it in compact blocks, so it just makes it a bit easier. Where have I been storing it? In here, there we go. Um, we've got quite a bit of rotten flesh, because I want to make the fertilised dirt, so we can sieve the fertilised dirt. But I think we should make it a standard thing that at the beginning of every episode, I am going to do a lucky block. Oh, I only want the one. I want one. Thank you. Right, we're going to get rid of some of these arrows as well because I just don't need them all. And it's just, it's a bit, a bit of a joke really. I don't need these either. Right, so from all of this that we've done, we've got a lot of reward bags to show you as well. But first, I'm going to do a lucky block, and I'm going to get my sword at the ready. Right, and I'll go through my new tools in a moment. I'll go through everything. This this is going to be a pretty compact, bloody episode, because I'm going to have to show you. Right, okay. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Oh my god. That's pretty awesome. So far, we've done three lucky blocks, and they've turned out to be pretty awesome. That's 37 bottles of enchanting right there. That's pretty awesome. Right, our bushes are still overgrowing. I need to sort them out. Oh my god, instant growth, instant berries. Right, I'll put them back in there. Oh, it's over here. I thought, what just happened then? And we just bugged out, because I... Oh my god, berries, you need to stop. <laughs> this is too much. Right. Metal. Right, so obviously all the sieving and everything I've done is in here. All the metals and everything that I've put through the tinkers is in here. So as you can see, we've got quite a lot of metal. And I'm going to need, yeah, half a stack of that. Because we're going to also do another quest. And we'll get a reward from that, which I particularly want to use this episode. So... I've managed, I've been using the osmium because I needed to get a little bit of obsidian so I could make this vacuum hopper. So how this is working, obviously, you can see up there, that's obviously where they're all spawning. They're falling down and they've got all these iron spikes. So the vacuum hopper is picking everything up and plopping it in here for us. The fish bait, this is actually what's been feeding us as we've got this fish bait burger. Now if I show you, it gives us four and a half hunger bars, four and a half bars of saturation. So it's been pretty awesome. But I'm just using my baked apples just to get through them because there's no point eating. Oh my god, these bushes! They need to behave. <laughs> I might just take them down because it's kind of becoming a bit obnoxious right now. Also in here, 
I have all the reward bags that I've collected from all the things that we've done. We are just going to do one more quick uh, Hooji quest. And it will give us some better armour and another quest complete. Now obviously I've been using these that I've been getting from the mob farm. They've been dropping some pretty awesome stuff. But we needed to craft that to complete another quest. Let's go and have a look right now. And I'll go through. Where is it? It's that one. Oh, the armor's complete. Right, weapons. He wants us to make an iron sword and a short bow. And I want it to, I want it to take us to the damned village. So let's get that and we also get an extra heart canister. I think that gave us an extra good bag. Yes, it did. Right, okay. So we've got a new book to put in our warp village. I'm going to put that on right now. I'm going to... Because we've got our Osmium Rapier. I'm going to use this just so we can get it up. Because I want this to obviously with the um, Iguana Tweaks. Obviously it will give us some good, some good extra modifiers that we don't actually have to use ourselves. So I'm going to smelt this one back down. And we've still got some iron in here as well. Now that I've done that as well, I'm going to take that off, put that on, and I'm going to smelt them back down as well. Because why why not? Right, so let's go through these bags, and then we shall head on over to do all the good bags first. Oh my god, that is one epic tree. Right, let's see what we get. Some sugar cane, some obsidian seeds. That's pretty awesome. That means I don't have to worry about a golden bag of holding. A gold gear, a music disc... <laughs> A diamond chest plate. Sorry, Iron. You're instantly replaced. <laughs> well, at least we can smelt you back down. That, just from good bags, that's pretty awesome. We've got a golden bag of holding, which is pretty awesome. We've got a strength 2 potion. An amulet of fury. Increases our damage by 18% and our defense by 18%. We're definitely using that. And a ring of stone, which is another 15% defense. That is fantastic. Right, I think if you press I, yes, I can put you in there and you in there. So our damage is increased and our defense is increased. That's pretty awesome. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's from Magical Crops. So that'll give us strength 2 for 5 minutes. That is, that's pretty awesome. I don't feel like we're going to need it for the village, though. Right. So, all the reward bags out of the way. So, obviously, I'll just give you a brief thing about these. So, obviously, we get Osmium. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, Broken Osmium Ore. Then we break it down. I, it can't be directly put into the smelter. But if we cook it up, then put it into the smelter, we can actually create Tinker's items. Now, if we have a look. So, obviously, I've just been making the pretty basic bind uh, bindings. It's because I was looking at the binding. We've been making the pretty basic casts just for now. I'm going to protect my obsidian seeds. I don't want to drop them. We've got some sugar cane. This is some pretty awesome stuff. This is pretty awesome as well. If I go in, like, because I accidentally walked into this, you can see that my hunger is rapidly going down. My armor isn't affected. And I can, uh, give you a quick show of this right, that that's pretty awesome but yeah so the fire affects my hunger but only while I'm stood in it if I've just got a fire effect it doesn't seem to be taking it right so obviously my music disc we can pop that away then bushes need to stop they really do <laughs> golden bag of holding that's pretty awesome that means we can get all the loots from this village so where is my actual warp book it is in here and if we shift right click I can pop that in there and then if we just right click we can go straight to the damned village what time is it oh the sun's just going down so I'm not going to do that just yet we are going to sleep and then we'll head over oh my sugar canes on the growth give it here pop it where did I put the rest of it it's not in there but it's going in there for now and oh why did you pop off all the way over there god damn it and these boots are awesome they're just they're so good Right, so we're going to sleep, and then we shall head on over. Let's have a, have a look at the Sir's Court seeds. Well, hang on, while it's night time, I'll give you a quick overview of what we've actually done in the quest book. So, the QDS, I need to get more 
coal powder, I believe, or did I manage to get all of it? Oh no, we've got all the coal powder. There we go. Right, okay, so we can quickly do this mission then. So we need bone meal, dirt, and rotten flesh. So it's half a stack of that. Was it bone meal? Half a stack of that, and half a stack of the dirt. It's in that chest. And we need to put down the QDS. I wondered what that was then. I just saw Skipper, me old Skipper, through the crack of the chest. And I was like, what? I have been having a slight problem with this. But it only seems to be giant skeletons. The giant skeletons are every now and then appearing on land. And their aim seems to be awful. Because not one has actually hit me. But I can hit... They're not bugging out. I can hit them and I can kill them. I have an itchy shoulder. Ah! <laughs> Delicious. Right. Um, so what are we doing? We need to get our QDS. Oh god, where is it? There it is. I think I need to make another hopper, don't I? Have I got any spare hoppers? Because I did go hopper crazy. Because obviously I've got the hopper there, the hopper there. I had to make another hopper for the vacuum hopper. Hopper, 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 hopper. Well, we're going to need a chest. I've also made some adjustable chests. Because they're going to be pretty good for when we get on the actual farms. And plus we've got those obsidian seeds now, so that's going to be pretty awesome. And I'm going to need five of you. We are going to have to do some more crushing because I'm running out of iron fairly quickly. Where's my crafting table? There it is. We're going to want you, 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 Hopper. So now we've got our bloody hell skipper. Get out. I can't believe he's actually still alive. I, that, that to me is quite impressive, the fact that he's managed to live for so long. Where do we want to whack this? Should we just whack it round here for now? Let's just pop it there. We want to put the hopper on top. And we want to bound it to that particular task. Select task. And is, do we just right click? We just right click and it will bind it to that particular quest. Now if we pop this in. Oh god, no, I only want. I don't want to waste all of that. Pop that all in. It should go up in our quest book. Yep, you can see it's making its way up. The craft... Yeah, right, okay, that confused me a little bit then. Then we'll get the fertilised dirt, which we can sieve to start on the magical crops to get the essence seeds, hopefully. Because that will help us a hell of a lot with metal production. Right, these berries are all over the place. Put that back in there. Oh, one thing I did forget to show you because we needed to get the induction furnace, induction smelter, whichever one you want, to bind with, to cook with this and some of this to make them because that was for one of the quests. And I could also, if I show you, it's just over here. So I just made a basic survivalist generator to power our induction smelter. We got diamonds. We've actually started work on having diamonds how awesome is that so i'm going to put them in this chest for later oh i hear an enderman he's burning he's dying he's pricking oh we've got an enderman head as you can see this is filling up very quick that's so loud i'm sorry this is filling up so quickly but i think overall it's it is what we need we do need a lot of it right okay so that must be complete then so if I go into here I get another reward bag and some fertilized dirt so when we come back I will fertilize my dirt I will sieve my fertilized dirt hopefully we can get some essence seeds and we can start on that and we get a sword pedestal Ooh, fancy I'm so fancy where can we put this because who doesn't want to show off their good stuff Right, okay, I'm going to sleep, and we're going to go visit the damned village. Go on, sleep. I'm going to have to get, like, a sound muffler for that as well, I think. I should have done that. Right, what book? Are we ready, guys? The damned village. Ooh. Oh, and this is actually going to help us with something else as well that I wanted to do. Because we're going to get some of these. I'm going to get seeds of all kinds because it's one of the quests then we're going to quickly go through all the houses and rob them and there's something else pretty cool about this place as well which will also mean that we don't have to start keep crushing for our 
for our metal. Right, okay, so golden bag of holding. You came right on time. What the feck is that? What, what is that? Oh, what is that? A turtle. And Ugthanky Camel. Wow, right, we're at this house, so let's deal with this house. Um, we can't actually get in. Right, this house holds a deep, dark secret. Beware off limits. But we need to come in here quickly. Oh my god, this is some good stuff. What the heck is that? Pulsating iron. Electrical steel. Two pigs. Pigs. The ender. Uh, nether wart. Right, you can hear. Right, this place is tainted to heck. Oh god, they're infernal. They're not supposed to be infernal. Right, but I need, I need to kind of do this quickly. Right. Oh god. What? Oh god, one's alchemist. God damn it. Right, let's put me food on me hot bar. That might be a safe bet. How bad is the poison? It's not strong, but it's lasting a long time. Right, we just need to get in. And now I'm on fire, but fire doesn't bother us, does it? Oh god, that's why. This dude's invisible. We just need to kill him. Right, he's dropped some stuff. Right, let's just get out of here and regen <laughs> our health just a little bit. And I believe one thing I do want to check is one of the quests in here. Which one was it? It was that one. Because it said, as I hide in the halls, in the beginning of the hall is where I lay, monsters of the deformed tread where I hide. Now, monsters of the deformed tread where I hide. I'm thinking that there might be another, I've been there, um, another secret chest in here. So I do kind of, I should have, I've brought cobblestone with me. So I can actually vein mine all the dirt, because I want to see if there's a secret chest under here. But may, may, it might get rid of the, uh, if I just fix this again and actually get rid of all the fences. I wonder if it'll actually get rid of the tank. I don't think it will. I think it is literally a biome thing. Oh my god. Oh god, that's the wrong thing. That was a mistake. <laughs> I wonder if I'm actually protected from fall damage. Now I've got these jump boots. Boots. I can't hear any mobs. I don't, I don't want that. Please get rid of it. Right, we do need to be careful because there is quite an extensive cavern underneath this village. Right, let's just torch this up. So yeah, I'm just going to mine up quite a bit of this. And I'll come back to you shortly. It's Elvis. No, it's not. It's Ken. <laughs> and he actually gives us a jukebox. Well, um, oh. Is this another Thormium guy, or is it the same guy? Right, get out of my way, Ken. I want all the loot this place has to offer. Oh god, a blood moon. We need to leave right now. Because that's a thing. We can come back in a moment. Go to spawn. Because <laughs> that's a thing that we just don't want right now. I suppose while we've come back, we can actually drop some of this stuff off. Um... Right, let's have a look. Right, we don't want that one then. Uh, the powder door. The only reason I haven't done that is because we need eight blades powder. I haven't quite got that yet. Um, I'm going to have to try and... I'll quickly just sort out my inventory. Because I've got so much dirt now. And I'll come back. Hopefully the blood moon would have passed. Right, now that it's daytime, I'm going to head back. And I'm going to see if I can find that chest. Because I reckon it's in there. So... If I find it, I'll be back with you shortly. I was convinced it was here. Unless it isn't, I just can't see it. Might as well pick up the diamonds while we're here, why not, eh? Eh? We've got so much dirt, we are good for dirt. Right, it's starting to turn night time. Another blood moon! How many blood moons does it want? Jesus. Right guys, I'm going to leave this episode there. Between this one and the next one, I'm going to try and get a load of fertilizer, dirt sieved, and try and get some essence seeds. I'm going to have to take care of my trees because they are overgrowing, and I will see you soon. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.